Okay, so a lot of you are going to be confused with uh, the math problem that we're going to be solving in this particular video, not because it is difficult, but really because you forgot a lot of your basic math skills. And of course, that can happen with time. But uh, let's see how well you remember basic mathematics. And feel free to use a calculator to help you solve this problem. But let me go ahead and read it to you. It is the following. 7 tenths is what percent of 31 hundredths? Okay, so that's the question. And if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the right answer in just one second. And then, of course, I am going to thoroughly explain the solution to this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Again, if you're confused by the question, well, by the time you finish this video, uh, you'll be an expert in it. But uh, here is the answer. It's approximately 225%. Now, the question is the following again, right? So it's 7 tenths is what percent of 31 hundredths? Now, what we have here is some value, some number, is what percent of another number? Now, of course, these numbers are written out, and uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of work to figure this out, but it's not that difficult because most of you probably learned this one time or another. But uh, if you got this right, that is fantastic. We have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that you are an expert in place value, uh, percent, fractions. As a matter of fact, you are a guru in arithmetic and basic mathematics. And that is no uh, small achievement, okay? A lot of people think, oh, that's just basic math. You know, I can do algebra. You know, I know basic math. But uh, what I have seen over the years is that uh, more people uh, think, well, the majority of people think they understand basic mathematics far better than they actually do. Okay, there's a lot going on with all the stuff that we learned way back in primary school or elementary school. And that's what we're going to get into in this particular uh, video because it's going to be kind of a trip down memory lane for some of you. Now, this isn't going to be difficult, but we're going to have to start from the beginning. Now, what is the beginning in terms of this question? Well, first of all, we have to understand the question. I always like to use the rule of three. Anytime you have a question, read it at least three times before you start doing anything. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to uh, determine the percent, okay? What is the percent of what? Well, if we're trying to find a percent of something, we're going to uh, try to find a percent of two different values, right? So one value is uh, 7 tenths, and the other value is 31 hundredths. Now, uh, the way these numbers, these values are written out can be confusing, okay? Especially if you don't remember place value. So let's go ahead and review place value real quick. And place value is basically how we uh, write or kind of speak out a decimal value, okay? So here is, uh, well, actually, let me give you a little pop quiz here. How can I describe this number, okay? So just say that number out loud. Now, most of you are going to say maybe like, oh, that's 0.2. Now, if you said 0.2, uh, that's excellent. Matter of fact, I'll give you credit for it. But let's uh, uh, suppose I said you cannot use the word point. Okay, don't use the word point. How else can we say this value? Okay, now this is where we're going to have to use place value. Okay, so uh, this number, okay, 0.2 is what we would call 2 tenths. Okay, this is the fraction 2 tenths. Now, it's uh, 2 tenths is because 2 right here, this decimal, is in the tenths place. Okay, and again, we have to remember our place value. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at another example uh, so this becomes easier. All right, so we have the decimal here, 0.23, but let's use place value to write this out. Now, of course, we can write this out, you know, uh, using words, right? Uh, to uh, tenths, right? And so and this is all, you know, basic kind of practice exercises that you would do uh, in basic mathematics. 
But here, 0.23, how can we uh, state this value using place value? Well, right here, okay, uh, this first digit to the right of the decimal place is the tenths um, uh, spot, okay? This next digit is the hundredth spot. So anytime you have a decimal, we have to go to its most far right digit uh, to determine the correct place value. So it's not the tenths, okay? It's the hundredths. So we can write this uh, particular decimal as 23 hundredths, 23 over 100. Now, if you doubt me, just get your calculator and take 23 divided by 100, and you'll see it turns out to be this decimal right here. All right, so hopefully you kind of understand what's going on here. Let's go ahead and do this last little example, 0.234. So if this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, what do you think this is going to be? If he said the uh, thousandths as place, you are an expert already in place values, so we can express this particular decimal not as 0.234, which of course it is, but 234 thousandths. Okay, so 234 over 1,000. All right, so that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to be able to understand place value and interpret uh, uh, these words here, okay, seven tenths as either a decimal or a fraction. So let's go and do that right now. Okay, so here's our question. Seven tenths is what percent of 31 hundredths? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at each of these values and just use our new um, kind of uh, knowledge of place value. And of course, it's not new for most of us. Uh, most of us remember this, of course, you know, uh, unless you, of course, you're learning it for the first time. All right, so seven tenths. Seven tenths is what? Well, we're going to write 0.7, right? Because that's seven tenths. This is a uh, tenth spot. But seven tenths, okay, you can also think of as the um, fraction seven over 10. Now, both are correct. If you take seven over 10, and take, well, take seven divided by 10, you'll get the decimal 0.7, okay? But yeah, I think uh, this, you know, uh, problem is structured in such a way where I can use it as a teachable moment to review place value because we could just simply kind of create fractions here, seven tenths, 31 hundredths, but I think the real value here is to make the connection between place value and fractions and whatnot because again, most of us uh, kind of forgot how to deal with place value. No big deal. Hopefully this is all coming back to you. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this other value that we have, 31 hundredths. Now, of course, we can write that as 0.31. This is the tenth spot. This is the hundredth spot. So 31 over 100. So now we have to make a determination here. We have to go back to our problem, and uh, we're going to have to put in some actual numeric values. So we can choose to work with uh, fractions or we can choose to work with decimals now because we are going to be using our calculators. And you don't have to use your calculator, but yeah, you know you should use it. It's just gonna make our life a lot easier. I'm going to choose to uh, work with decimals. Okay, so we're gonna rewrite the problem this way, 0.7 or 7 tenths, right? So I could say this here, 0.7 or 7 tenths is what percent of 0.31 or 31 hundredths. Okay, so right now at this point, what we have is a lovely percent problem. And uh, we went from uh, reviewing place value, decimals, fractions, how to express uh, you know, different values using uh, those different um, methods. So now at this point, it all comes down to your understanding of percent. All right, now if you couldn't get the, the setup correct, maybe you wanna go ahead and see if you can do the problem at this stage. But let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I, wanna in, I would not interrupt this video if it wasn't that important. Uh, this is probably the best way to show your support for this channel if you like this content. Uh, I have right now, I think uh, over 2,000, well over 2,000 videos on my YouTube channel. It's taken me years to do this, but I don't really count because I just love to teach. I am teaching pretty much every day because there's a wide range of math topics that I love to teach from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. But uh, when you subscribe, okay, what happens is it really tells the algorithm, hey, you know, someone might like this material and it pushes out my content to more people. Now, that's important to me because it's going to help me reach my goal, which is to help other people in mathematics. Uh, of course, if you're getting value from this, I greatly appreciate it. And if you are a current subscriber, I really am grateful. Okay, I look at every single person watching my videos or subscribing to my channel as a student of mine. That's how I think of it. But uh, I want to get more students because a lot of people out there really need 
help in mathematics and too many people are on the verge of quitting on math and they just kind of fall through the cracks in the school system and you know uh, you know some teachers may not care as much as others it's just hey listen I'm trying to do something about it in, in my own little way but uh, by you subscribing it really does help me help others and um, of course I hope you are getting some value out of this uh, particular video as well now if you're going to subscribe make sure to hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest content thanks so much for letting me uh, do this little spiel but it is important and now let's get back to the rest of this problem okay so 0.7 is what percent of 0.31 now let's suppose you're kind of confused about ah, what should i do here well a great technique you can use in math if you're not uh you know really understanding the question is to replace values uh with simpler numbers and see if you can kind of uh, understand the problem a bit better so 0 0.7 is what percent of 0 0.31 let's just kind of change out these values for some easier numbers what if i gave you this question two is what percent of four two is what percent of four you don't even need a calculator to answer this question come on now two is what percent of four well hopefully you said ah, mr youtube math man it's 50 percent and i would say yes indeed you are a mathematical genius that is correct it is 50 percent but let's kind of review what's going on here now a great model uh, for percent uh in terms of percent problems is to think of the part out of the whole or part out of the total setup let me show you what i'm talking about here so percent like let's suppose let's say you had your little pizza here and you wanted to know what one slice out of four slices was well what's the part that's one what's the total amount or the whole it's four so you have one out of four now one fourth or the decimal 0.25 right if you take one and divide it by four these are here are not uh, percent our percentage is so what we have to do is rewrite our fractions or our decimals as percent but the setup though okay the numbers that you're comparing using that part out of the whole concept is a kind of a great model when it comes to percent prompts so in this particular case what is the part two is what percent of four okay let's just see visually being kind of look well actually we can go back to our pizza uh, model right so here if i have two okay slices of pizza that is what percent of the total of four slices okay well our our part is two our whole is four so we have two over four okay and which of course is one half but this is equivalent to the uh, decimal 0.5 okay now how do we write uh percents okay well if you have a decimal or a fraction but i'm going to work with decimals because it's uh, more common what we need to do is multiply by 100 which is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the right so if i have 0.5 and i move this decimal point over two places to the right so that'll be one and two it's going to be 50.0 percent okay so uh two is what percent of four 50 percent all right so now that we understand that all we have to do is simply apply the same setup to our problem okay so 0.7 is what percent of uh, 0.31 well this is going to be the part 0.7 okay and then 0.31 will be the whole now you got to be careful here because uh, oftentimes when you're dealing with percent problems the part out of the whole setup sometimes the part is bigger than the whole in other words when you're dealing with uh you know problems that are like 100 something's like 120 percent of something else or 200 percent so don't get confused because that can definitely happen and that's going to happen in this particular problem so we're just going to follow the setup here so we have 0.7 divided by 0.31 and when we do this in our calculator we're going to get a decimal and i'm just going to round off here approximately 2.25 okay but we're not done here uh, yet because the question is asking what percent so i'm going to have to take uh, 2.25 and multiply it by 100 which of course is the same thing as move, moving the decimal point over two places to the right so we're going to get approximately 225 percent okay so if some of you out there are saying oh boy i forgot this stuff i took this 30 40 50 years ago well yes i get it you know it's a long time matter of fact i was taking 
this basic arithmetic uh, way back in the good old 1970s. I just remember uh, my uh, teachers, particularly my first grade teacher, smoking right there in the classroom. I guess those kids were kind of giving her, <laughs> maybe myself included, a tough time. But uh, if you need help, okay, with basic math, or if you just want to relearn uh, all the math skills that you forgot, well, I think that's a great idea and a great use of your time. Check out my new math course, okay? It's called Math Skills Rebuilder. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below, but basically, I start off with basic arithmetic. I go through everything that we talked about in this video much, much more. Then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, basic trigonometry, and some basic probability and statistics and uh, this is a self-paced course you can take your time but uh, by the time you finish it you'll probably understand math better than you actually did back in your school days because that's typically what i have found especially if you are an adult learner okay that you learn math actually better or you'll understand it better than you did when you were younger okay and i think that's because you know you're more mo you're more motivated to learn it and you're less distracted of course i know i was extremely uh, distracted uh, when i was in like high school but uh, uh the marine corps and of course you know uh, being uh, on a college scholarship that i can easily lose if i didn't pay attention you know kind of straighten that out but anyways if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures Thank you for your time and have a great day.